Welcome to the hydraulic press channel. Today we have really important science experiment. The idea is to figure out, can you push orange through one millimeter hole? Does this fit there? Probably not by hand, but how about with 150 ton hydraulic press? And to perform this task, I have 100 millimeter hydraulic cylinder. We are going to place the oranges here, then put the piston here, and then cross with this. These are rated for 300 bars, but I'm willing to go at least up to 600. So that's a shitload of pressure, and I'm pretty sure that the orange will come out. I am at the good mood today, so I'm going to put two on the first one. <laughs> and we are going to first start with the two and a half millimeter hole. And the smallest drill that we have is 0 0.4 millimeters. I think the orange is not going to come through that, but where's the limit? Let's find out. And then after oranges, we are going to make the longest cantilever ever by squeezing candle through one millimeter hole. A big candle, so watch the whole video to see that. Okay, we are ready. And the maximum pressure inside of the cylinder is now set to 300 bars. So this is within operating limits of the cylinder. And I think we don't need any more than that for the first test. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great succeed. I can't wait for the uh, smaller holes. Yep. Uh, we made a small mistake. I had the top that I mentioned on top of the cylinder to keep the piston straight. But I didn't screw that in, so there wasn't room for the piston to go all the way. So uh, we have still the peels here. I think we are going to go to one size smaller. These are going to come out just fine from there. Uh, this time I'm a bit wiser. I put camera slightly off center, so it's going to fly past the camera. I think it, at least it stopped and uh, I'm not sure did everything come out, but we are going to open the thing up and see is there nothing left. I felt that the like mist was like more uniform and smoother. It wasn't clumpy at all. So I have high hopes. Okay, I have some bad news. Here is the peels are left there. I think it's just like that the, this goes there. So I'm not sure is there enough room for the peels to be like, because this hits the bottom and then there is like room around this ring. It's not enough for the peels. I think this just don't come out. I think we are going to go to the one millimeter so 33% smaller hole, and let's add 100% more oranges. So four oranges, one millimeter hole. Okay, here we go. out. There's your answer. But quite a lot came out. Uh. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay, here comes the channel update. We decide to launch channel memberships here in YouTube. By being channel member, you support us to make also more technical videos, not just compilation and YouTube shorts. That okay, they perform really well. But I think there is audience also more technical and not so clickbaity videos. So memberships are going to help us a lot to make those. And now when we have almost 5 million subscribers. We thought that it would be nice to have also a community of more dedicated viewers around the memberships. So uh, we are going to have two tiers. Member 5 million, with that you get the loyalty patches, emojis and priority chat. So it supports us and you stand out from the crowd. And then the second tier, member 10 million, you get videos early on both channels, like a couple days early. I like to upload these before I publish them, so if there's any problems with monetization or anything like that, it's already there, so you can see it early as soon as I upload it. And then our uh, membership project manager Hanna is going to make exclusive videos. And uh, they seem to be about like stupid and funny stuff that uh, doesn't perform on YouTube algorithm like mm. as an like public video. But there is a lot of people that would really like to see those. So exclusive videos on channel memberships are a great place for those. And you can also vote for what you want to see in those videos. Yeah, so that's that. They are down there somewhere. I put some screen capture here. And now back to the crushing. What there's left? One, two, three, four. And that's it. This is only half. This is one. This is also missing. And this is one hole. So we weren't far off because we squeezed like one, one hole orange through because like one is missing its peels. And when the clumps are moving, because that, that was going like over 100 meters per second. So the speed is the same probably inside here. So when it's have good momentum, even the bigger clumps can go through. But on the, uh, like when the liquid is running out, then there isn't enough momentum to push the bigger stuff out. So if you like have like 100 oranges, you can probably squeeze quite many out. But if you just put one there, then it's not going to come out because you have to have the momentum going on. Next, we are going to do the candles that I promised. And this is two and a half millimeter hole. We are going to first test with this. Oh my God. <laughs> Nice. I don't know why I thought it's going to like spool up here. I forgot that it's going to come fast as hell out. So for the next shot, let's make the camera even wider so you can see what happens. Okay, new try. <laughs> That's too small. Let's put let's put 1.5 millimeter. Yes, it's not far off. Okay, we are ready for the new try. The previous try wasn't failure because of the size of the hole. It was a failure because of the string of the candle blocked the hole. So now we remove the string and we are ready with the new try. Okay, that was eventful, and I think that we had to do so much work when pushing the candle through that small hole that the uh, like pressure loss, because inside of the cylinder it's like 600 bars, 
and outside of the cylinder, it's like zero bars. So all that pressure loss turns into speed and into heat. And I have the feeling that so much of it turned into heat that the stearine melted. That why it was like smoking. And also it was like molten when it hit the glass screen. And <laughs> that's why we have this magnificent thing here. Yeah, but I have to say that in like overall, this is a great concept. And if you have any other things that you want to see going through that one millimeter hole, please let us know. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.